what would be better for Tennessee's athletic department? Would it be a men's final four or a straight out national championship for the women? Just showing up in the final four, you're going to get beat first game. You're even a 10 or 11 seed that's one of the greatest Cinderella's of all time. I'm not even talking about this year in which they should have gone deeper. But what would be bigger for Tennessee's athletic department to have the women run roughshod, win a national championship, or would it be for Tennessee just to make the final four? What say you, Caleb Calhoun? And I want to hear from you on the message board. Please hit the thumbs up button so we can bring more people in. The like button helps us. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you thinking? What do you got, Caleb? We've got... People are going to be prisoner in the moment and say, based on what happened this year, winning the women's national championship now supersedes it. I, I got to bring realism to it, though. This year was a major exception compared to years past in, in, in college basketball. 95% of the time, the men's final four is going to draw better ratings and be a much better revenue driver in general. They play at football stadiums, guys. They play at football stadiums for a reason in college basketball for the final four. The payout's just better. So you have to say Final Four, in particular because the women already have eight national championships. I just I, I I know this year was a little bit unique, but I thought that look we 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 see the evidence now. People say they hate seeing the same powerhouse teams win at all. Well, you know what? If you don't have blue bloods in the Final Four, you're not going to draw a lot of ratings. And we saw that with men's basketball this year. So you can complain all day long about the blue bloods staying relevant all the time. They are the revenue drivers of college basketball. UConn is barely a blue blood. I know they got five national titles, but they've also missed eight NCAA tournaments in the last 25 years. So I would call them a blue blood now. It's hard for me though, because what's a, here's what's a blue blood, someone who's always in the NCAA tournament or someone who is missing it every three years, but is also winning it every time they go. It's like, well, at, what, at what point did the ladies have to struggle where they're not a blue blood in women's basketball anymore? Well, I think UConn women are still a blue blood. I do. I think even though I they haven't won a national title. I do, but if we're having this conversation in 10, 15 years that Tennessee can't get past the Sweet 16, then that, that's something that I think not only we would discuss whether or not they're a blue blood, but we'd be looking back and like, how did you not do that? But that's 10, 20 years down the line. Well, Tennessee's a much bigger danger than UConn is of, of, of this. If you look at the recent success in history of both programs, I mean, Tennessee hasn't won a title since 2008. Utah has, UConn has won six titles since then including four straight three undefeated seasons they tennessee i don't think i don't think tennessee's had a top five team since 2008 okay so let me hear from the message board craven's today's tough question is what would you rather do would you rather have the men go to the final four or would you rather have the women win an outright national championship so this is what we have so far on the twitter which elon musk may take away from us one day but we shall see uh, by the way, I was on his uh, uh, little teleconference, Twitter teleconference he had with engineers, and there were mistakes being made that he wasn't even aware of. It was pretty classic. Okay, so who knows what the Twitter is going to be before long. But for now, it is a place where you can put polls, and that's what we have done. So right now, 75% say men make the final four. They would rather Tennessee make the final four then the Lady Vols win a national title. Does that surprise you at all? No, because that's something the men have never done. And I think that that's what stands out the most is the men have never made the Final Four. Lady Vols have won eight national titles. They are still – that's and they've won at least two – they won two this century. So they're still entrenched as a program, the Lady Vols. Okay, so if I would have put Elite Eight, do you think it would be more along the lines of 50-50 or could the women even take – I think the women would take it at that point. I think, really? the, I think the women would take it. I think anybody that would rather an, an elite eight than a women's national championship, knowing where women's basketball as a sport is going right now. I think that that's a little short-sighted. Yeah. You want that. You want the national championship for, for Tennessee women. Also just to remind the world as women explodes, like who was the original, who was the OG of women's basketball in the program? So it's, yeah, I, I, you know me well enough, so you might have to back me here. I'm not sexist in any shape, form, or fashion. I hope the women can get all they can get. I had great respect for Pat Summit and what she built. But 
if you're going baseline going into next year, I think it would be more important for the men because they generate significantly more revenue to make the Sweet 16 than the women to win a national title. I know titles are great to have and banners are awesome. But at the end of the day, just for the financial foundation of the athletic department, year in and year out, this is how crazy I am. You don't even have to talk Elite Eight with me. I'd say men make the Sweet 16 every year and let the chips fall where they may with the women. That sounds sacrilegious when you talk about Tennessee, don't is, isn't it? Sounds awful. Yeah, and I, I – I think that's a little different, though, Dave, with where the game is going. I mean, did you see the ratings of women's game, Drew, the other night? I want to bring this up to you, as a matter of fact. So did you did I share this with you that now part of this is because they're on ESPN and they're being promoted by ESPN. So they got as much coverage on an average sports center as the men's tournament. OK, so here are the numbers that I was told. Uh, the highest rated uh, NBA game on ESPN in this past year was about a two point eight million. And the NBA is huge, might not be huge in East Tennessee, but it's huge nationwide. It's probably second, I would say, to the NFL. You could argue third to college football. Then after that, on ESPN, now this was a tournament game, but at one point uh, there was a 2.4 million rating for the women. Just games on ESPN. The highest regular season men's rating was 2.2. So am I comparing apples and pears or oranges a little bit because that was a regular season game versus a postseason game? Yes. But for the first time in my lifetime, they're pretty close to being on the same plane of existence, Caleb. I'm willing to bet you when the numbers come out that the women's national championship game had more viewers than the men's national championship game. I'm willing to bet you that. Wow. I'm really? willing to say that. Yes, I think they might. The women's national championship had more viewers than any Stanley Cup game since 1973. I saw that too. And a lot of it's Caitlin Clark, who's fantastic to watch. If you haven't seen her, well, then dump more money into the women's program at Tennessee. Do what you got to do. Then well, Kelly Harper's. Don't well, then, let me just say this. Then Kelly Harper's not good enough because if you have all the support and you're not getting to the final four on a regular basis as a women's basketball coach, you're losing a lot of publicity and it's there for the taking. Not as easy as when it was just Pat and Gino, but it is there for the taking. There's no reason Tennessee can't be in the final four on the women's side each and every year. Yeah, dump more money. And also Tennessee needs to move past. This is a huge problem with any blue blood in any sport. They are oftentimes older programs believe in a certain philosophy that may go by the wayside. I don't mean just in, on the court basketball, Tennessee treats the women's game in a very kind of classy way. Like, you know, you go to Tennessee lady Vols game and they clap for the other team in the starting lineup. That's like kind yes. of a tradition mm -hmm. guys stop that now. I mean, now, I mean, yesterday what's making the women's game so exciting was Caitlin Clark was talking so much trash and then Angel Reese talks trash back to her and there's so much disrespect. That's what makes the game fun. That's how the NBA exploded in the first place. It wasn't just Bird and Magic the rivalry. It was that Larry Bird was the best trash talker in basketball at that time. And yeah. it made it made it much more intense. Tennessee is going to have to get with the times. Nobody wants the whole like win with class and dignity and yada, yada, yada. No, you got you to add a little flair into the game now. And other schools are doing that. And if Tennessee is still stuck in the whole, I mean, if, if they're stuck in that 90s method of, you know, we're young ladies and we conduct ourselves in a certain way, nobody wants to see that. They want to see the same thing they see with the men's side. They want to see some trash talking, a little bit of chipping, a little bit of fighting maybe. That's what they want to see. And that's what's going to make it fun. And it starts, Tennessee fans, with do what you do with the men in college basketball. During women's basketball games, when the other team starting lineup is introduced, shout sucks when every player comes, when every player's name is mentioned. Start doing that now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like a little bit of the classiness. If you're way better, it's kind of rubbing your nose in it. But when you're kind of on the equal playing field, then yes, maybe you need to do something else. I still go back to the Florida game on the men's side where they, they held the picture up of the young lady that was in uh, the Playboy magazine. That's the best trash talking that I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if it affects. Who was that again? Was it Matt it was Miller? Matt Walsh was his name. Matt yeah. Walsh.